What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And if you'll see right behind us, this cute little apartment, yes. this is our place here in Paros in, we don't know if it's Neusa or Nusa. Nausa. This is our cute little place. It's gorgeous. But best of yet, this is the view. Pretty much like panoramic. Look at this. It's amazing. And it goes all the way out around here. And then right behind us is the beautiful city. Yeah. And it's like this cute little neighborhood. I think it's like the one of the most charming towns I've ever been to in my entire life. And it's like a two minute walk away. So this is the marina right here. And if you can see in the distance, there's a bunch of fishing boats. And I believe this is a very populated fishing city. Yeah, so. uh, because we see people picking up their fish at the end of the night when these uh, fish boats come in. Well, so we've been here for... A little over a week mm -hmm. and it's been amazing it's just super chill we just like relax I work outside Ryan naps during the day <laughs> I've taken one nap and she's giving me shit about today. it yeah and it was today this is swan duck or geese village whatever these animals are there's poop everywhere they always yell at people And they just sit here all day and do nothing. What a life. This is the tiny little town square and they have a lot of restaurants and places to eat during high season. But this one we went to the other night and it was really good. So the first stop in this town that we're gonna show you is probably the cutest little like mini port I marina area. This is, when we came upon this, the first night we were here, it was all lit up. It was just so adorable. It still like, is. It's amazing. And you got all the houses in the back beautiful church in the background and all these boats and there's all these little restaurants right over in here in the corner and around this area here with like four people seating you know like very cute and very quaint and this is just like picturesque we are walking into the back alleys of the neighborhood right now and this is essentially like the little city of Noosa yeah and it's really cute just like Parikia and just like what's that was that other one left case left case they're all pretty much the same. They all have the same look and feel. The white buildings and homes and restaurants and cafes and just beautiful cobblestone walkways. I mean, Just it's, like this one. Yeah, look at this. I mean, come on. And look, at you got like these cool little alleyways. So we're really not going to show you much of this town because we've showed you the same kind of look and feel in Parikia yeah. and Left Case. It's the same exact yeah. stuff. So we don't want to bore you with the same looking scenery. But people do say that this town is much more hip with like local shops and artisans and I agree like a lot of stuff is closed obviously but from what I see like this looks like the really cute hip like get your latte art and your handmade goods type of town. Yeah, definitely. And there's so many cool little shops and jewelry stores that Stacia's been able to yeah. take a look at. And like really, really cool stuff. So our second favorite place is this little castle right behind me. It looks like absolutely nothing. Our taxi driver told us about it and he was like, oh, you gotta go see the castle. And I was like, this is the castle you're talking about? Like, It's the smallest little thing ever. But we went inside the other day and it is way more cool on the inside than the outside. So we'll take you there. So to get to this castle, you have to climb this little wall and it'll take you all the way to the castle. And you can actually go inside, which we're gonna do right now. And then this is the port view from the walkway to the castle, which is so pretty. This place is cool. I mean, look at this. When he first told us that there was gonna be a castle here, we were expecting this big, huge, you know, kingdom of a castle, like you would think of, of a castle, like a Disney castle. And we walked up and we're like, wait a minute, is that the castle? It's kind of small, but it is so cool. And it really is a useful tool that they used against the pirates. All of these little arcways here was where they would put the cannons to defend the city. And they built it here because it was a really good vantage point from boats coming in this way and this way and it was kind of like the center of the entire town so they had cannons surrounding this whole town they're completely strapped <laughs> ready to crush any pirates that try to take over the town these little tunnels here look straight out into the ocean and it's gorgeous one of the best things about this castle is just the view you get of the harbor when you turn around and look it's so 
pretty here. Like, I really can't get over, I, I do think this is one of the cutest towns I've ever seen in my life. And this port area is always the one you see on all like the tourism pictures and the tourism board for Noosa and for Paros actually. This is like the token harbor. So the other night we went out on this jetty. There's a few rocks you can climb over and then you get out on the jetty and you can walk all the way down to that little light post and it gives you insane panoramic views of the entire city. But the sun's going down and I need to start flying my drone because this is probably gonna be one of the better sunsets and the next few days are supposed to be cloudy. So I wanna make sure that I get some really cool shots of this city for you guys. So cue the B-roll sequence right now and then after that we're gonna go out into the jetty and see like the final peak of that sunset. So drone mission was a success this time. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, I posted a story where I took it out and it was probably one of the best sunsets we've ever seen yep. since we came to Greece. And I flew it and I got some amazing shots, probably sh better shots than I took tonight. And I forgot to hit record for the entire <laughs> 20 minute flight. And I got back and I looked down and I was like, I was so sad. You were bummed for like 45 whole minutes. I was, I was really upset. So uh, tonight was a redemption and I hope those shots came out good. Now we're walking back to the jetty because we want to walk all the way out there and show you guys the view so pretty. before the sun really goes down because it's like right on the edge. Okay, so we quickly made it back to the jetty as the sun goes down. Here's the castle. The sky is turning beautiful pink right now, but there's 6% battery left on this camera. So we're kind of screwed. <laughs> we're gonna try to get out there as fast as possible to show you quickly a landscape shot and then we gotta call it quits for this video. We gotta cross these rocks right here and make it all the way up to there and then walk down to that light post. Don't fall in. <laughs> okay, I'll try. All right. Careful. Look at this view. Is this not insane? Like, look at this. Beautiful fisherman wharf and this sunset and this jetty. Like, you can't go wrong. So if you come to Noosa and you come see this castle, don't forget to come out on the jetty. I think it's the perfect place for sunset because you get like a panoramic view of the entire city. And then the other side is like the entire ocean. So really, this is one of the most beautiful spots. I keep yeah. saying that with this town because I really like this town. No, this town is amazing, but we didn't even show you the other side. Look at this, before the battery dies. We've been showing you all this. This is the village and the town, but then you look over this way and you have these beautiful mountains and the other islands over there. It's just so awesome. I'm running out of battery. This is fine. As long as the wind doesn't blow it. If you guys could see how I'm hanging this camera over this ledge right now on this rock, you would be like, what are you doing? It made it, it didn't fall into the brink. Seriously, I was so, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I figured I would just let it re like sit right there on the edge and I got it just balanced enough so that if it was a gust of wind, it probably would have fell. Ah, but this is beautiful. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this. So now it says 14%. I just turned the camera back on and now it says 14%. Tricky little thing. It's probably just gonna die right now. <laughs> This is what Stacia does all the time, guys. Well, you literally almost fell to your death. No, it's not that you far down there. You your skull on the thing. It's called anxiety. She yes. just, no matter what, like if I trip over a rock, she freaks out like, like I just died. mom, I hate that. She's constantly, like honestly, guys, if I do anything, if I drop a fork in the kitchen and she hears something loud, she's like, ah, what 
at your tail. And I'm like, you are a nut job. Anyway, we're trying to get back before the sun goes down and before I fall down and to, your death. to my death. <laughs> yeah, it's way easier coming back. <laughs> Until you get to this last rock. Oh, guys, come on. Look at that. Are you kidding me? It's just insane. Going back in. <sighs> That was cool. That is my favorite spot in this town. It was awesome. Ryan makes all the friends. I love these fishermen cats. Yeah, They're they... just awesome. Not all are friendly, but this guy's friendly. Hi. And what's cool is that these cats, they get fed by the locals of the town. And every time a fishing boat comes in, all the cats race up to the fishing boat and the, and the fishermen throw out like little pieces of food and fish for them. Are you our new friend? Let's go. We finished dinner, and now for Stacia's favorite part of the uh, whole entire trip and the favorite <laughs> part of this entire city is, uh, where? The bakery. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. Greek bakeries are like out of this world. They're so huge. They have so much to choose from that I'll probably have to get a few things. Yeah, and we're probably gonna have to hit the gym like 10 times harder by we the time we get home. The gym. We've been at the gym, but I still feel like I'm gaining fat everywhere because <laughs> all we eat is all the sweets from all these bakeries. But like, the, I feel like there's so many. Everywhere you look, there's bakeries, cafes. They all have the same stuff. It's just pastries. So everyone, good. everyone just eats pastries and Drink coffee. coffee. Like and I feel like cigarettes. that's the only thing that happens in Greece. Everyone sits at these cafes and they eat pastries and coffee all day long. So what are you thinking? All of it. <laughs> So Stacia's treats turned into my treats. <laughs> and you have way more treats than me. So this is why we're so fat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks again. All right. Fatty Stacia. I can't believe it. This bakery is awesome though. So if you come and you spend some time in Nosa, this bakery in the middle of town is amazing. They know us personally. Yeah, now. the guy that works there is really, really nice. So that's about it for this one, guys. We need to go home and eat all this shit right now <laughs> and just uh, pass out. But the cutest little town. We highly recommend staying here if you do come to Greece. Yeah, hands down. This is probably the best place we've been so far in Greece. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button on your way out, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you.